Solar panels, just like any other equipment, are not immune to the occasional breakdowns. In this video, we reveal the five most common issues encountered by our service technicians. So Chad, most solar systems are relatively maintenance-free, but we do have a team of service technicians here at Paradise Energy Solutions that aren't sitting around twiddling their thumbs. What are some of the most common issues that our technicians encounter? Well, thanks, Warren. Um, our Paradise Energy Solution technicians service all of Paradise Energy customers, yep. but we also service anyone who has a solar system that needs um, technical assistance. That may or may not have been installed by us. May or may not have been installed by Paradise. A lot of these issues we're going to start with are not issues we find on Paradise sites, yep. but they're just generally we see them out there. And, and the first big topic that we find is installation issues. Okay. I'll just give you a few examples. The first would be wire management. What exactly is that? What do you mean by wire management? Well, when, when you install solar, uh, you really want neat, clean workmanship. You want everything fast and tight. You don't want wires hanging down in your shingles. They blow around in the wind. They'll rub through. They'll wear and tear. If you have a ground mount, you know, you don't want wires hanging down in your grass, being hit by mowers, and we see it all the time. You know, I was always impressed. I, I'm always impressed when I see some of our installations. It seems like artwork, the way the wires flow and they're perfectly cut. And is that what you're talking about? That's what you want to see. It's not just an aesthetic. It's okay. also a functional and, and a safety issue that we like to resolve. Okay. An, another issue that we see all the time, and this one uh, causes a lot of ish, uh, problems, is terminations not properly torqued. What is it? What do you mean by terminations and that's torquing? A, sure. So that's a fancy way of saying uh, when wires are landed on terminals okay. uh, for electrical connections, okay. there is a proper tightness. Okay. Everything's supposed to be tightened to to make sure that no heat builds up, everything functions as it's supposed to function. And one of the things we see over and over again is... Um, when things aren't properly torqued to the right specification, that heat builds up, corrosion builds up, and equipment fails. Okay. And entire systems go down because of this, and we see it all the time. Okay. So other than wire management and the termination and torquing of uh, connections, what other issues do you see? On the installation side, uh, you know, just general poor workmanship. Okay. Uh, and, and sometimes that's just... A frustration to the customer and sometimes that causes real problems uh, we've seen uh, servicing customer sites we've seen conduits come out of the ground in their yard and and kind of just under the surface you know we've seen uh, equipment without s proper seals on them and water gets in and damages equipment just general those kind of situations so how would i know if i owned a solar system whether or not how would I visually inspect each of these issues, the wire management, the, the torquing, as well as the poor workmanship? And how would I know when it's time to call a professional? Yeah, so that's a great question, Warren. Uh, things like poor workmanship, yep. you may see conduits just hanging and flopping in the wind. Uh, if you see wires hanging, um, those are the workmanship issues. I still recommend with electricity, call your professional. Don't okay. don't touch wires. Right, right. If you're not, uh, you know, if you're not properly trained and sure. know what you're doing, some of the others, um, as far as you, you're probably not going to climb on your roof to look to see if your wires hanging there. Yep. Terminations. There's nothing you can check. Okay. Um, if you have a problem, when you get professional help, they're going to determine that that was the cause. All right, Chad. So other than installation issues, what's another issue that you commonly see? Another big one, unfortunately, is inverter failures. Okay. Now, your inverters uh, do have typically, what, a 10 to 12 year warranty, something yeah. like that, but they're a piece of electronic equipment. They're converting DC electricity into AC electricity. You know, they're susceptible to any problems that electronic equipment has, uh, heat, manufacturing defects, um, utility power events, lightning, all these things can cause your inverter to fail. How would I know uh, if my inverter if my inverter's failed or if it is the inverter that's failed or if it's something else that's going on with my system? Sure. You do, depending on the type of system you have, uh, hopefully you have an online portal that yep. you can go and check your production. You're, you're looking to see the health of your system. You often see alerts and warnings, okay. errors on that. Yep. If uh, you just are the kind of person who walks around your property and looks at your equipment. You may see red lights. You may see uh, no production. Okay. Those kind of things would alert you. 
All right, so if I look at my uh, monitoring portal and I see a red light or I walk by my inverter if it's visible and I see something flashing, it doesn't seem like my system's working correctly. At what point should I call a professional or try and troubleshoot it myself? Maybe I'm biased, but, but Warren, I'm always thinking just call your professional. Okay. They may or may not give you some troubleshooting steps over the phone, Okay. but they're familiar with the, you know, that piece of equipment. They know what the proper steps are and they can help lead you or schedule an, a time where it's convenient for you to come out and take a look and, and you know, make those repairs. All right, Chad. So we talked about installation issues. We talked about inverter issues. What other issues are there? Another big one we see, um, fortunately it's a little less problematic uh, to your production, yeah. but is communication issues. Okay. And a communication issue is basically when you go online to your portal and you know you just don't see anything or you see no production, the system has some alerts and alarms and warnings, but maybe you go out and check and your inverter looks fine. It's okay. producing, system's working. Yep. It's a communication issue. Okay. Meaning that your solar system's not talking to the internet. That's correct. And there's really maybe four main ways that your system could be connected to the internet. Okay. Uh, maybe it's through Wi-Fi. Yep. And if it is through Wi-Fi, you got to ask yourself, have I recently changed my Wi-Fi password? Sure. Have I changed network equipment? Yeah. Has anything changed? Yeah. Another one would be um, maybe a hardwired ethernet cable, like uh, we used to do with our computers. Sure. You know? Yeah. Again, is the cable unplugged from your router? Yeah. Just very simple networking things. Uh, many modern inverters have cellular communications. They have okay. a cell card in them. Really not a lot you can check there. It's either working or it's not. And then uh, the only other thing I would mention that I think is important that we, we walk customers through is the installation of kind of wireless bridges where you can't run an ethernet cable. Yes. There'll be, you know, two pieces of equipment talking to each other. And if they stop working, maybe you have some red lights or something on them. But at that point, you're probably calling a professional for some assistance. Absolutely, and I think it's also important to note that if you have a warranty that requires that your, uh, your that we monitor your system for you, we need to, in order to keep that warranty active, need to be able to monitor your system and have your internet up and running. Very good point. Uh, we care about that system and making yeah. sure your production meets your expectations. And without that visibility to your system, we lose our ability uh, to be proactive and, and provide a solution. All right, Chad, so so far we talked about the installation issues, the inverters, and the communication issues. What else? Another one, and this gets a little technical. Maybe, okay. maybe you'll call it a little nerdy, but uh, we see a lot of uh, ground faults yep. and arc faults. Okay. These are fancy terms for basically um, a ground fault would be maybe the insulation on your wires is damaged and it starts to bump some metal objects. Okay. It's called a ground fault. Your, uh, your inverter is required to have ground fault protection, and if it sees a ground fault, it's going to shut down. Okay. And that's what you want it to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And arc fault, very similar. It's just a different type of fault, but uh, your inverter must monitor for those faults. And if it sees one, once again, it's going to shut down for your protection and the safety of your property. Okay. So if you have an arc fault or a ground fault, your system is going to be shutting down and you're not going to be producing what you hoped your system would produce. So obviously you want to address this as soon as possible. Is this something you could address on your own? Or again, when do you call in a professional? Well, Warren, you're going to want to call right away on these. Okay. Um, your technician is going to want to look for the cause of that fault. Is it yep. a lo loose connector? Is it okay. a damaged wire? Yep. And you're going to want to make sure that's resolved before you restart that system. Hey, right, Chad, so are there any other common problems that we should know about? Let's talk about one more. Okay. <laughs> this one's a fun one. Uh, squirrels. Okay. And other rodents, but but squirrels are notorious. They uh, love to chew on your PV wire. Okay. I don't know why. I can't explain it, but I can definitely tell you they, they enjoy it. Okay. Uh, I think they like the uh, the shelter provided under your solar panels. Okay. A couple of issues, obviously, damaged wiring, and we see a lot of shingles damaged. I had one customer here in uh, Pennsylvania that uh, actually heard squirrels in their attic, could never figure out where they were entering right. until we removed one of their solar panels. The squirrels had actually chewed a hole through the roof and were living inside of their house. So it can be a major problem. And is this a problem both on roof mounts and ground mounts? You know, we were talking about this. We don't see a lot of problems on ground mounts with uh, animals or rodents damaging the equipment. This is more of a roof 
type issue in our experience. Okay, so how do you troubleshoot this particular issue? Yeah, so this one, um, you're going to probably see ground faults and arc faults okay. because of the damaged wiring. Yep. But that's going to be accompanied by the scurrying sound of squirrels on your roof. Okay. So if these two things are happening at the same time, we automatically start thinking, well, you got a squirrel problem. All right. And so it, when, if you're experiencing, if, what if you're hearing the scruffling or you're suspecting that something's going on, you're not necessarily having arc faults or your system's not resetting itself. When should you call a professional? How should you inspect that yourself? Sure. Yeah. Again, um, unless you're trained for working on roofs, just call a professional, but I, I would recommend not just to get more sales, but I would recommend if you hear squirrels on your roof and you have a solar array, um, have it looked at, consider installing critter guard, which is an inexpensive product okay. that keeps rodents out from under your solar array. Leave a comment to share if you've encountered any of these maintenance issues. Did you fix it yourself or did you call on a professional solar technician? Solar panels are generally a maintenance free investment, but they aren't immune to breakdowns. Our service team is here to help you if, you if an issue does come up. Contact us via the link in the description below.